It was a very special Sabbath in the African country of Cameroon. Actually, it was a very special Sabbath all around the world. The third Sabbath of May is World Adventurer Day, a day when adventurers around the world celebrate being adventurers. What does it mean to be an adventurer? Ketsia and the other adventurers in her club spent some time thinking about that question. What does it mean to be an adventurer, they wondered. Does it mean reading and memorizing the Bible? Does it mean earning honors? Does it mean gathering for fun activities? They agreed that those were all important things. But there was something even more important. They decided that being an adventurer means helping others. It means helping people in need, just as Jesus would if he were on earth today. It means being the hands and feet of Jesus. Katsia and her friends decided to celebrate World Adventurer Day by visiting children who didn't have any parents. On Sabbath afternoon, Katsia and 14 other adventurers went with a grown-up master guide to the orphanage. The orphans knew that the adventurers were coming, and they eagerly met them in a big room of the orphanage. The adventurers stood on one side of the room and introduced themselves to the orphans. When Ketsia's turn came, she smiled and said, My name is Ketsia, and I'm nine years old. I'm a Seventh-day Adventist and an adventurer. They all said that they were Adventists and adventurers. Then the orphans introduced themselves. None of them were Adventists or adventurers, but they were curious to know more about them. When the introductions were over, the master guide motioned for the adventurers to stand together. We are going to sing some songs, he said. Ketsia and the other adventurers enthusiastically sang about Jesus. They clapped their hands with some songs and used hand motions with others. When the adventurers finished singing, the orphans asked them to sing the songs again. They liked what they had seen and heard. The adventurers sang the songs again, and the orphans listened with bright smiles. Then the master guide gave a short message. He told the orphans that even though they didn't have any parents, they had a heavenly father who was always ready to help them. He finished the talk by praying for the orphans. Then came the moment that Ketsia had been waiting for. It was time to pass out gifts. Ketsia and the other adventurers brought soap to give them. The orphans didn't have their own soap, and they sometimes had to take baths and wash clothes without any at all. Ketsia handed two square bars of brown soap to a six-year-old girl. The little girl smiled broadly. She was so happy. Thank you, she exclaimed as she accepted the gift. When Ketsia saw the girl's smile and heard her gratitude, she also felt happy. She was happy that she and the other adventurers had been able to share songs and soap with the orphans. It was an amazing Sabbath, Ketsia said. My wish is to have this experience of helping people in need again. Part of this quarter's 13th Sabbath offering will help open a Seventh-day Adventist school in Ketsia's home country of Cameroon, where children will learn to help others just like Jesus did. Thank you for planning a generous offering.